Hey, it's Reagan here. And Katie. We are here to tell you this week about getting ready to list your home and staging. A lot of people don't know what that is, so we're gonna go through some highlights on what to do to get your home ready to sell. Okay, first we're gonna talk about landscaping. This doesn't have to be anything big, just edging the yard, add it, cut, trimming some bushes, and maybe adding a pop of color by the front door. Yeah, totally. Some people um, paint their front door or they'll paint by their mailbox, but make sure you have that color by the mailbox and the front door because that's where they're going to be standing when they're unlocking that lockbox and the buyers are going to be looking around, checking everything out. Um, the next item is to declutter. So make sure that you pull up a lot of knickknacks, if there's stacks of books, maybe by your office, if you've got piles of paper, declutter. And really, I feel so bad for my seller sometimes, but really make it look like you don't live there, like it's a model home. So um, take things off the floors of the closets, and I've even suggested to get a storage unit or a pod delivered. The pod is so convenient because they deliver it to your driveway, you walk outside, fill it up, and then they deliver it to the new home whenever you're ready. So, um, Another suggestion would be removing all personal pictures. This can be for the reason of negotiation. If someone doesn't know who they're negotiating with, it's a little bit stronger and also good because they can picture themselves in the house. That's so true, that's so true. I think sometimes people get distracted and they'll think, oh my gosh, do I know this person? And then sometimes I'll tell them my sellers that you look so nice, they'll probably take advantage of you on price. You know, and I mean, mentally, sometimes people think they're thinking through things they don't even realize that they're doing. And if someone doesn't know who they're negotiating with, it makes them nervous and probably offer more is what my, my philosophy is. Um, lap number four is staging. So that is where you are um, really making the environment look inviting um, and just perfect for them to picture themselves there. The way that staging works is we pull out a lot of the clutter and we pull out even pieces of furniture to actually make the room look bigger. So I have a stager that would go to my clients' houses. That's something that I is a gift to them so that they can have that knowledge and prepare their home to photograph and have walkthroughs that are very successful um, and make the home look bigger. And then lastly, the last thing would be paint and small repairs. So touch up a little bit of the small things around your house, maybe do some electrical and plumbing repairs. This can be good for the home inspection so they don't see as many mm -hmm. little red flags or so that some, when the person is walking around nitpicking your house, they don't notice anything bad and they're so happy to be there. That's right, that's right. That's how we get a lot of multiple offers because the more perfect the home can look, the better and the higher the price you're gonna get. It's a little bit of effort to make a lot of money. So hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if we can help you with listing, selling, purchasing, or investing. Reagan Thorpe and Katie Sinclair. Thank you.